This is the J Rocket Steve Stevens Signature Rockaway Archer, and it's such a cool idea. I can't believe I haven't seen this before. Stay with me. We all know there are tons of Klon style pedals on the market. And if you've watched some of the comparisons or shootout videos, you'll know they mostly sound very, very similar. Since the vast majority are based on the original circuit without attempting to put much of a different spin on it. Oh sure, some will differ a bit in output or the uh, amount of available gain, but the main objective has mostly been to provide a pedal that sounds like the original, since one of those will set you back thousands of dollars these days. J Rocket has had a few versions in their lineup for quite a while now. Uh, the Silver Archer, the Gold Archer Icon, the Archer Boost, and so on. But for my money, this one has to be one of the most useful clone variants I can imagine. It combines the boost and overdrive circuit of the Archer Icon, but it replaces the usual single tone knob with a graphic EQ. So you have a six-band EQ. Left to right, 100 hertz, 200 hertz, 400 hertz, 800 hertz, 1.6K, and 3.2K, with each band providing up to 18 dB of cut or boost. I'll show you how the pedal sounds through two different amps, the all-tube PRS HDRX20 and the solid-state Fender Tone Master Deluxe Reverb. All right, I'm plugged into the Paul Reed Smith HDRX20. I'm uh, miking it with a, with a Shure SM57. And I'm playing my Strat style guitar with Lindy Fraylin pickups. Now what I'm going to do here, there's my clean tone. And I've got the gain on the pedal oh, right about 2 o'clock. Remember this is not a high gain pedal, it's a Klon style pedal. And I've got the volume down just a bit so that we can keep it manageable in here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the pedal on. And then I'm just going to mess with the sliders and see what happens. Ought to be fun. Bring up the gain just a little bit, about to three o'clock. Thank you. 
Try a couple other pickup positions. This position two. And how about that bright piercing bridge position? Here's without the pedal. With these sliders, you could almost get this into P90 territory. Very nice. Let me grab a humbucker guitar just for a minute. All right, I now have a Paul Reed Smith S2 Standard 24 with humbuckers. And here's my clean tone. And here's the pedal with everything flat. We'll do the same thing. We'll just mess with the sliders a little bit. I'm on the neck pickup. I'll set it all flat again. I'll turn the gain all the way up. Now, of course, as I, I turn the gain up, but as I raise these sliders, that's going to add more gain as well. And finally, I'm now playing through the Fender Tone Master. Here's my clean tone. And I put the gain back at about 2 o'clock. And I've set the sliders flat again.
bridge pickup. <laughs> This is a killer pedal. It takes the Klon circuit and enables you to custom tailor it to whatever guitar, rig, or room you're playing much more precisely than just twisting that single treble knob. Now, if you already own a nice Klon style overdrive you're happy with, only you can decide if the extra flexibility would be helpful for your situation. As always, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again very soon.